Hi, my name is Mark and I teach economics. The purpose of this video is to talk about cryptocurrency. That being the virtual currencies of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, the currencies that you've heard of on the news that hyped. And the questions are, is it in a bubble? Does it have a future? So this video is to ask, do these currencies have a future or is it just a fad? And many people give explanations that, okay, yes, Bitcoin, the first decentralized currency started in 2009. This is incorrect. Maybe some virtual blockchain technology, but decentralized technology of currency has been around for over 10,000 years. Remember, the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States of America is an anomaly. It's only existed for about 100 years. Human beings, mankind, have used money, which is simply a medium of exchange, for 10,000 years or more. Whether it be gold coins, shells, whether it be salt, whatever is agreed upon. So just because you were born into the system of the United States dollar being the king, doesn't mean that's necessarily gonna be true. If you were born into the system of the Soviet Union, the Union, you would assume that that system will last forever, but it doesn't. And if you put it into perspective that the Federal Reserve legal tender, the dollar bill, has only been around for about 100 years in its present form, maybe it will not exist and this cryptocurrency, this Bitcoin is the future. We don't know right now. But what I would say is that in the 1800s, the United States, Canada, and Scotland, and many other countries functioned perfectly well. In fact, prospered. The roads were virtually, in relative times, paved with gold, with a decentralized currency. And so if these, this decentralized currency exists, and has existed in the past, then it can exist in the future. Because what is it really? It's an idea. And you cannot crush an idea. You can burn books, and I know many of my econ students right now would love to burn this book. I personally would too. I don't think it's a super book, but that's neither here nor there. You can imprison people. You can, you can take laws to make things illegal, whether it be hemp or whatever the new thing is, but it doesn't stop people from using it. So when people ask me as an economist, Will cryptocurrency, will Bitcoin last? The idea will last. I don't know if literally Bitcoin will last. It probably will at this point. It's gaining momentum. I've heard Amazon is going to start picking up this cryptocurrency and soon and other uh, large organizations are taking it and people will be able to spend it. You'll just have a Visa card or a credit card or a debit card, a debit card issued by some cryptocurrency and you'll be able to go to the store and spend it. It will be, it'll do an automatic calculation of translation into currency. So it probably is gonna be around for a long time and it will probably outlast these, these nationalistic centralized currencies. So just like kings and queens are things of the past, except in historic footnotes, centralized currency might be the thing of the past and the decentralized currency, the thing of the future. And it has a lot of emotional appeal because intuitively in our hearts, we all love this decentralization. We don't want the big powers that be to control our lives. The investment banks and the governments in the closed rooms, the port brandy and the cigars to make the decisions for us. When you have decentralized power in money, it's almost like democracy. It's the power of the people. So to answer the question, will cryptocurrency have a future? Will it last? Will Bitcoin be around? I'm going to say yes, because you cannot, you can eliminate a book and burn it. You can imprison people. You can make things illegal, but you can't squash an idea. Once an idea is out there, it continues and it continues to gain momentum. Thank you very much.